Test. Boxes in the world, in and around his weight. What a contest we have in store here between men from Colombia and Cuba. There is a 32-year-old Yabersian Henry Martinez, Olympic silver medalist in Rio at 49 kilograms. His opponent is at the other end of the experience spectrum, and that is 23-year-old Alejandro Claro of Cuba, world championship bronze medalist from last summer at the event in Tashkent. Uzbekistan, our scoring judges are from Bulgaria, Azerbaijan, Estonia, Morocco, and the Korean Republic. So their previous results for Claro, terrific performance in his previous contest, and that win over the 2021 world champion Tamaya Suboy of Japan. The round of 16 stage was an absolute joy to behold because Yabersian Henry Martinez was 10-8 down after one round of boxing. Lost the round, was doctor point for failing to keep his head up, but the man from Colombia did not quit, kept grinding away, took it to the realm of countback and prevailed to book his place here in the quarterfinal contest. So we're underway then. This contest between men from Colombia and Cuba. The man in the red vest and red gloves is Jabersian Henry Martinez, seeking to qualify for his third Olympic Games after taking Olympic silver in Rio. He was a quarter finalist in Tokyo in the summer of 2021. 32 years of age now, often not the quickest starter. But my goodness, once he gets into gear as he takes a stiff southpaw left, he is impossible to repress. The southpaw wearing blue, who's finding the range pretty effectively with his greater length and reach. Good movement when pinned near the ropes is Alejandro Claro, 23 years of age from Cuba. Nice right-left combination from the southpaw in blue, then good movement to cause Martinez, Martinez's body shot to be inaccurate. World Championship bronze medalist at 48 kilograms, competing here at 51, 48 kilograms, not an Olympic weight. Beautiful one-two once again, spearing in between the defenses of Martinez, but Martinez driving in a hard shot to the body in a bid to slow down this fleet-footed Cuban in later rounds. Claro's doing a, a good job here, just trying to make his man miss and catch him on the counter and, sp and spin out. Martinez. Version Henry Martinez is showing quick feet in this opening round, but in Claro is meeting a man with quicker feet, gliding around the boxing ring. Once Martinez warms up, well, he will look to live in Claro's chest and burrow away to the body. Beautiful le right-left combination again from the Cuban southpaw, and look at how he's able to ghost his way out of the corner when seemingly trapped in between the corner post and the ropes. Beautiful movement with the feet from Claro, composed under fire and was able to skit away without taking a shot. Uh, um, Claro is really going to have his tank and energy tested. That was beautiful shot from Claro there. He's going to have his energy tested in, in this fight with Martinez because as we know, Martinez is very good at grinding his opponents down. So far, Claro doing an outstanding job keeping the movement going but he's clocking up miles on his odometer, circumnavigating the boxing ring, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Well, the version Henry Martinez got a little closer as we approach the 10-second clapper. Martinez, that was the warning that saw him doctor point in the first round of his round of 16 contest yesterday. As again, able to Houdini his way out of harm's way is Claro once more. Terrific movement from the Cuban 23-year-old for my money, he's done enough to take that first round. Let's see how the scoring judges have it. A clean sweep of the cards for Alejandro Claro, the reigning world championship bronze medalist from the lighter weight of 48 kilograms. Fantastic boxing there from Claro, using his distance, using his range, using his footwork, spinning off the ropes and catching his opponent with the counter. 
Martin, oh, that was a beautiful check hook there. Martinez has got a lot of work to do. He's getting into the position that he needs to be in, but he's not being fast enough to be able to catch his opponent in blue before he spins off and gets into the centre of the ring. Martinez has got a lot of work to do in this second round to try and pull this, this fight back into his favour. So we're underway in the second round here. Men's 51 kilogram quarterfinal action. And Martinez looking to close the distance once again against this jackrabbit of a Cuban Sapo who simply does not stop moving. Look at the job he's doing, maintaining Ooh. the gap. And then when he held his feet for a nanosecond, fighting a beautiful Bolo Sapo left right into the pit of Eubergian Henry Martinez's stomach. Terrific work from Claro. And then left hook to the body, right hook to the head. But Martinez keeps on coming and enjoys two shots success of his own body then head as he looks to grind his man down once again. But Claro keep it doing an outstanding job keeping the movement going. There's a southpaw left, southpaw jab and left cross. But Eubergian Henry Martinez engaging a higher gear now. His feet noticeably quicker, but so too are those of Claro. Scoring left hook followed by a right cross from Eubergian Henry Martinez. As Claro ghosts his way out of the corner once again, he's going to have to ensure that he enjoys offensive success as Eubergian Henry Martinez gets into his territory and begins to dig away downstairs. Claro's got to let his hands go, lest he be accused of running. Big swing and a miss with the southpaw left. There's Martinez right into his wheelhouse now. He's found his groove and he's looking to grind his man down once more. Martinez just stomping forward, almost reminds me of Marvin Hagler, the way that he's, he's following his man around the ring, just trying to pummel him to the body to slow him down. Beautiful body shot there from Martinez. Terrifically picked right hand, and this a typical display from your Bergen Henry Martinez, outboxed in the opening round, but then he poses the question, because what we know about his energy stores as that they are seemingly unlimited and he will punch at this type of tempo and output all contest long. And the referee just speaking to Claro, that's a good oh. double left hand on the resumption from Claro, body then head and he's being forced to hold his feet now and that is right into the desired territory and the type of desired contest for your version Henry Martinez. Claro, credit to him, rather than a dancing master, he's trying to push Eubergian Henry Martinez back. He's got the Colombian pin to the ropes, but still, Eubergian Henry Martinez able to find room for his punches, and he inconvenienced Claro, who's breathing through a mouth that's wide open now, and the fleet-footed man has been slowed to a comparative standstill. Instructions being yelled out emphatically from his blue corner, but I'm not sure he's got the energy to showcase the footwork that served him so well in the first three minutes. It's an archetypal display from your Bergen Henry Martinez, who continues to sap the soul of Claro with these sickening body punches. I feel Martinez has punched his opponent, Claro, onto the struggle bus. He's starting to wilt. Oh, and that bell couldn't have come any faster for Claro. Well, you saw your Persian Henry Martinez clap his gloves together in celebratory fashion. I think he's tied it up. But he hasn't. Oh, my goodness. Alejandro Claro's back foot boxing has been rewarded for four of the five judges, which I find absolutely extraordinary. And I think this man is incredibly unfortunate because he's trailing 20 points to 18 for judges one, two, four, and five, despite working beautifully, particularly to the body. Claro had success in the opening part of the round, but thereafter, I thought it was your virgin Henry Martinez who was the boss. Yeah, I thought Martinez did enough to, to seal the victory there, um, but I guess it wasn't, it wasn't to be. As you can see, Martinez there starting to push his man back against the ropes, landing, landing really good, heavy body shots there. So as we go into the third and final round, your Bergen Henry Martinez is going to have to produce the type of performance that saw him overcome a 20 points to 18 deficit at the start of the first round in his round of 16 affair. And he's going oh. for his man, eye-catching oh. right cross as Claro standing to fight fire with fire, but he's being worked over downstairs once again. Claro counters, counters upstairs with a two-shot salvo. 
but your version Henry Martinez looking to walk his man down and tee off on his torso once again. Claro takes an uppercut through the middle, forced to hold his feet now. Your version Henry Martinez looking to dig away once more, and Claro, well, he's been spoken to about pushing down on the head of his Colombian opponent. Your version Henry Martinez right where he wants to be, he's got to get his hands free and work away, and he's doing exactly that, scoring with hooks and uppercuts to the chin of Claro, and Claro's movement being sold as he short, slowed as he takes a clipping left hook. There's another left hook from Martinez. Nice movement from Claro to avoid oh. the incoming fire, but he couldn't avoid the uppercut. Toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff, which is right in the wheelhouse of your version Henry Martinez. Credit to Claro for biting down and firing back, but this is Martinez's type of contest all about long. Beautiful right uppercut on the resumption from the Rio Olympic silver medalist. And Claro, credit to him, fighting through the fatigue, making it into an exchange. Left hook from your version Henry Martinez, and then a southpaw left after the command of break from Claro. Your man Martinez has not stopped firing back this whole round from the beginning of the, f the, of the, the start of this third round. But Claro's coming back, he's punching, he's throwing them hooks in. And again, for my money, this is a far better performance and effort in the third round for Claro than it was in the second round, which I saw as pretty one-way traffic after the one-minute mark. Now your version Henry Martinez looking to tee off to the body once again. But Claro, not on the back foot. Perhaps he doesn't have the energy to get up on his toes, but he's showing his fighting spirit and determination and fighting the other man's fight. Martinez perhaps getting the better of the exchanges, but they are exchanges because Claro is continuing to fire back, looking to answer everything. Martinez oh. with a chin checker of a right hook, staggering back Alejandro Claro. He's got around 30 seconds to make it to the end of the round. But your version Henry Martinez keen to re-enter the fray and check the coordination and conditioning of his man once again. Claro steps back into the breach, Looking for more right-hand success is your version Henry Martinez. Ten-second clapper imminent. And Claro, what courage and conditioning he is showing as he's caught by more punches right in the eye line of the referee. Your version Henry Martinez continuing to let his hands go. Claro appearing about as steady on his feet as a ragdoll, but he remained on his feet. What a gutsy effort by Alejandro Claro. Your version Henry Martinez. Non-stop non punching during the course of the third and final round and given the context of the bout, I don't think that's the 10-8 round that your version Henry Martinez required. I think he won the round, but then again, I thought he won the second round and he only took it for judge number three. Alejandro Claro led for judges one, two, four and five, 20 points to 18. But your version Henry Martinez was incredibly unfortunate to find himself trailing by two points for those four judges. And then in the third round, Alejandro Claro didn't get on his bike. He didn't get on the back foot. He stood and fought fire with fire. I thought he came off second best in the exchanges. He took a standing count. And I don't think that's the 10-8 round that your version Henry Martinez requires. Let's see it. What say the judges? The winner, by and there is confirmation of a split decision victory for Alejandro Claro of Cuba, which means that he goes through to the Olympic Games having secured the quota place. A spirited effort filled with determination, guts and supreme conditioning as well. He took the first round. I thought it was rather fortuitous to take the second, but in the third round, the man showed his mettle. He stood and fought fire with fire in one of the best grind em down merchants in Olympic boxing. Endured a standing count in the third, but he passed the chin check, and it is the man from Cuba, Alejandro Clara, who is going through to the Olympic Games. If he hopes to become a three-time Olympian, well, your version Henry Martinez is going to be half to selected by the Colombian Federation and attend the global qualifier in Thailand later this year. Well, look at those third round scores, a 10-8 verdict with Scott returned as your version Henry Martinez swept the board and I just think those second round scores didn't reflect what took place in the second round.
Yeah, Clara did, did well. He had his chin checked. He had his engine checked as well in, throughout that fight by Martinez. Martinez, oh, man, he was, he was unlucky not to, not to get that tonight. But Clara boxed brilliantly, especially in the first round.